entrepreneurship and education. In these interesting and challenging times, Nigeria and ultimately Africa needs more creative entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurship has been misconstrued and subconsciously reduced to opening shops and selling commodities. Trading is simply a subset of entrepreneurship. How are we looking at the problem with a creative mentality? Entrepreneurship is a mindset and a certain way of thinking. Entrepreneurs look at problems and spot opportunities while creatively deploying, developing solutions to addressing these problems. How are we really building and grooming a cadre of young entrepreneurs? Do we have workable framework appropriately institutionalized and woven into the fabrics of our educational system? There are several opportunities hidden as problems within our nation that real entrepreneurship can solve. Our educational curriculum needs to be revisited, if not entirely overhauled. We need to start offering young people a new way of thinking, a new perspective to looking at problems, and new platforms of expression. It is the quality of our thinking at early stage levels that will create new beliefs, drive new actions, and ultimately create new results for us. Education is a massive tool to drive real entrepreneurship. The problem here is that our educational sector is largely underfunded and underserviced. How can we create a new generation of forward-thinking entrepreneurs when we are not paying close attention to what young folks are learning? Young people are doing the best they can with what they currently know. If they knew better, maybe they would act better. The strength of our nation lies in the ability to collectively develop more value creators. We've got to raise the bar in creating value. There are lots of problems to solve. How are we intentionally building and nurturing a pipeline of young entrepreneurs who will prefer solution to these problems? You know, guys, when I was, <laughs> you know, I don't know, I mean, I'll start with Ife. When you were in school, what was entrepreneurship like? Did you have a course like fully dedicated for entrepreneurship? Um, no. And I graduated university in 2014. Great. Um, primary school, secondary school, up until university, there mm. was no particular course on entrepreneurship. And I went to a private school. Whoa. So it's not like I went to a public school. So they didn't, I went to a private school and there was nothing like that. And um, I, I started my first business after NYSC in 2015. Because right. fun, funny enough, we were taught entrepreneurship in NYSC camp. Yeah. The mama say. I mean, what, what, what you're talking just soap making and needle trading, needle, tailoring. Yeah. That's not really <laughs> Yeah, I know. They taught us the basic, very basic of entrepreneurship, which is, uh, I'm saying, that's even the closest. So you should, that should make you see like, if that's what Nigerians or most people mm. are calling entrepreneurship, if that's their, um, their first uh, meeting point of entrepreneur yeah. entrepreneurship, yeah. like there's a huge problem in Nigeria. Like, there's so. a huge problem. But like, um, yeah, so I started my first business in 2015. Right. And um, after NYC, and I was just going to do regular, because um, I, I saw a problem in the market. I was going to go out to get a job and I didn't have official wares. And then I went online. We had the two biggest e-commerce platform then that just started, but they were expensive. So I mm. said, no, I'm not going to get it. I'll go to Yaba, do bend down, select. And then I was like, if I'll do that one, I'll be shy if people should see me. Why is there no platform for people to easily buy used um, like fashion material? Yeah, of stuff. thrift. Mm -hmm. Why is there no website? And then that was where I started from because I saw the problem. I was faced with that problem. And then I started like, I want to be selling thrift online. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just build a simple website to sell thrift online. And then I had someone then work with me and he was like, that's a good business, but you can think global with this Thank business. You. you can think bigger with this. And I'm like, think bigger. What's bigger? But let's just sell and make the money, re put the money back and this thing. Like, that's my, oh, that was what I knew about entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship and things like that. And he told me, no, if we have a website, that means we can reach people far in Imo State, in Enugu, across Nigeria. Mm. Even if we want to target Africa, we can reach more people mm. to patronize you. That will open up market. That will open. And 
And then we did that, and then it was mad, like the returns, the way um, people interacted with the product, with the website, and then from there getting investors to come, bringing the money into the business, and then growing from there, and then that just change, changes your mind. Entrepreneurship, what we've been taught in this part of the world, that entrepreneurship is, which is just buy and just sell buy this thing, just buy and sell and this thing, anybody can do that, anybody yeah. can do that, that's it, it's beyond that, mm. it's beyond it's that, it's, it's, it's your it's your mind, it's, it's, it's about the mind and how you approach the problem. Fantastic. First, recognizing the problem. problem. Second, knowing there's a market Fantastic. for the problem. Then knowing how to serve that market Fantastic. and blowing it out of the water. It's a whole lot. I'm very, very um, passionate about entrepreneurship <laughs> and technology. Like Those are my two passions because Love it. we've been watered down in this part of the world to, to, mm. to be thinking that entrepreneurship is just about um, buying yeah, and selling. selling. We've been watered down. Elijah, what can you say? say about I want you to speak to something really very important so our leaders have asked us to you know um, when you got out of school get out of school you know go create jobs or go do stuff do we have the sustainable or enabling environment to really do that what can you speak, say about that? well firstly firstly let me comment uh, I think it should be Obasanjo during his lead administration he introduced this concept of entrepreneurship. I was tempted to ask which school did you attend because I knew I long think. time ago, long time ago, there was nothing like that. But I think during the time of Obas and they introduced entrepreneurship studies in Nigerian universities. But there is a problem. Now, here's the problem. The problem is the people teaching you these things themselves don't even understand it. Mm. Mm. What we learned in school about entrepreneurship is okay. different from what entrepreneurship is in reality. Is, yeah. So it took me up until the time I got into NYC and did some managerial courses, both from studying from schools from abroad, virtually, or the mm -hmm. ones we learn in business school. I learned entrepreneurship is beyond finance, it's an innovation, mm -hmm. problem solving. Now, the enabling environment, well, that's where policy comes into play here. The government has to be intentional in bringing out policies, not on their own. Call people to the table. There should be a roundtable discussion, the youth, stakeholders. How can we support youth, especially those that are innovatively driven in their approach to solving everyday every day to day problems? Just like what you said. So how can governments bring out about policies? How can they enact policies that will support them? So the environment, like you said, well, I would say Nigerian youth have done well for themselves, despite the challenges, not enough support from government institutions and sometimes policies that still fool their activities. But on their own they are doing very well. But if the government can be involved in and intentional like when it comes to youth development we only hear oh youth youth and sports i think the government should even split their sports. ministry sports should be different from youth even this sports. everybody must not be in sports <laughs> even the sport, how are they really f um, enabling the sport? Yes. Even the sport as well. The only part our government is really interested in is agriculture. As long as you they want to breed cows, so you want no, to breed push cows and goats, that's the only <laughs> one they are interested in. They are not even doing it very well. Even the sport, they are not <laughs> interested. Like a we are from not enabling Bola. Bola, what Bola was say, you know, about this conversation? You know, lending your thoughts. Okay. Well, in my opinion, I think it's not until recently we understood what entrepreneurship is all about. Before, the norm used to be set up a store, do it short term, get the money, and move on. Mm. But now, entrepreneurship is long term. People are thinking global. Mm. And I think the Nigerian youth, they've done well, very well for themselves. You see, you set up something, set up a system that, that is sustainable enough to transcend time, to transcend five years, six years, three years range. You set up a system that you, you know you are meeting the demand, you are meeting a certain market, you are answering the questions with certain markets, you are delivering um, services to a certain market, and you are going to think long-term advancements. In advanced countries, that's the way they think. They think global, they think beyond their sphere, they think beyond limits. So we as Nigerian youth, we as Nigerians, we should try to think in that sphere as well, to create a sustainable system, to meet the demands of people, to meet up with programs, to meet up, and just not just that, we should like, now life is a hybrid, mix technology with our norms. I, I'm a writer, but I reach out globally to people, people reach out globally to me. So it's more like, trying to think beyond your sports, trying to think beyond where you are. Thank you. 
Well, right. the thing is, there, there's something I just want to add. There's this concept that everybody's thinking if you say entrepreneurship, I must own a business or I must do things on my own. No. Do you know entrepreneurs can actually be employed in organizations? Right. Let mm -hmm. me give you a very good example. The guys that started this internet banking and USSD banking and different form of banking, they're entrepreneurs, but they call them in... From the theoretical perspective, they'll call them intrapreneurs. They're entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs in an organization. So yeah. entrepreneurship is about innovation, problem solving in different phases of national development. Because the country has problems at different times. How can you solve it? It's a major thing. All right. So, um, you know, our education is really, really key and important, you know, to drive entrepreneurship. And I believe that um, our curriculum across all levels, you know, from cradle to um, teenage, you know, to up until high school, university, really should be revisited and, you know, overhauled to really, really um, begin to infuse core you know, practical entrepreneurship so that we can begin to build that pipeline of people who would not just um, um, chime in to, to lash on job, but can also become value creators by spotting problems and, you know, creating solutions to addressing these problems. Dolapo is going to wrap up this conversation just after the break. Do stick around.